So now this might seem a little bit too fast to practice, but this is very important fundamental wisdom and the idea we have to keep in mind. And then we can focus on the one part of you know, this time we can focus on the impermanent, and maybe next time, next week we can focus on the suffering part, or you know, or whatever the emotional uh, situations that you are going through, and you can focus and observe that feeling and event. <clears throat> and this is nothing new, but unfortunately we don't take seriously. That's why Buddha said often, and he knew that we would get bored, so he said it in a little bit different way. <laughs> if you look at the four sin, he said this three things. If you look at the four noble truth, this is the with the four characters of the suffering actually. And he said that again and again in so many places. But unfortunately we are so busy and we, are, we don't take that seriously. You know. And then what we say? Uh, uh, nothing is changing. Of course, nothing will change. You're doing the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Same permanent, same suffering, same happiness, you know, same independent, nothing is doing there. So how do you expect different results as long as you change the different cause? Or we do it like, oh, I will do this and after one week I will change everything. It doesn't happen like that. You know, it's like you're working with a habit, not like a instant. coffee or something like that. <laughs> so whether we do it with uh, overly excited mm. or we do nothing, that's the biggest problem with us. And we do a little bit, we get a little bit irritated, not knowing that it's happening and we just stop doing it. So I think These are very uh, essence of Dhamma. What is view is in there? Renunciation is in there. Mm. Bodhicitta is in there. Mm. Why not these are working? Because you have these problems. Mm. Like, you, know, mm. you have this tumor inside of you, and then you just try and work with the symptoms. <laughs> so, if we try to work with this. And then I think since we are not looking at the symptoms, we are looking at the cause. And this effect would be very strong. Mm -hmm. It won't be a small, it will be a very strong effect. And this, I think, we can use as the very fundamental strategy view of our meditation in general, especially contemplation or the analytical meditation and then you can pick up one of them and focus on that you know mm. impermanent or whichever mm. other practice you mm. do let's say you have a dif difficult with compassion okay let's do the independent mm -hmm. right. let's say you have a, a difficulty with renunciation okay let's do the suffering right. mm. uh, let's say I have a problem with the laziness okay let's do the impermanent mm. you know, we can just take one of them and use it as a wisdom to your practice. <coughs> okay. Sigmas and death from the ocean of samsara may our free all beings.